Hey, what's up guys? I feel like coming at you with another epic video and today we're going to be talking about an upcoming expansion for Marvel's legendary deck building game, which I have done videos for uh, here on the channel before and if you'd like to check those out, you can. So obviously I'm a massive fan of Venom as you would know and this year was of course Venom's 30th anniversary. As one thing that's really cool about Legendary is the amount of uh, custom stuff that fans actually make to enhance their game. Like, you can find a lot of it up on Board Game Geek, and they've made, like, full-on, like, cards that look like they were made by Upper Deck themselves. And one of the most ones that I wanted to play a lot is a Venom set. And as I was actually working for stuff, you know, to play and download a Venom set for myself, I noticed that in February they're actually releasing a Venom mini box expansion. So the mini box expansions are, like, the sets that come with five characters, two masterminds, two schemes, blah, blah, blah. Um, they've done one for Spider-Man, they've done two for Spider-Man, so Paint and Town Red and Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, I was literally super excited when I heard there was going to be a Venom expansion because, holy crap, this is like the first real kind of like, you know, kind of like semi-anti-hero expansion, excluding the Deadpool expansion, and that's freaking awesome. And then my brain started rattling, like, who are the five characters that you're going to recruit going to be, and who are the two masterminds? So after doing a bit of research, I noticed that uh, the first two confirmed heroes, obviously, are going to be Venom, duh, it'll be Eddie Brock, because, you know, it's, it's the most well-known Venom. And then, of course, freaking Carnage. Obviously, I don't have any images of the cards themselves, as they haven't been released yet. But Venom and Carnage are confirmed as recruitable characters based on my research, and that's freaking sweet. Now you can live your fantasies and have your Carnage mastermind take on your Carnage recruitable character. And that's freaking sweet. Um, obviously, based on what I've said about what I've done with research as well, one of the masterminds is actually confirmed to be Thanos. Now, Thanos, you may be questioning, why is Thanos the villain in a Venom expansion? Well, in an event called Venomverse and later um, Venomized, Thanos was actually believed revealed to be one of the main masterminds of that event. And of course, the Venomverse is very much you know a spin on the Spider Verse, if you will, where you have all the different Venoms, you know, all the different people that Venom, the Venom symbiote has bonded with across the Marvel multiverse. Uh, so, that brings us a question, well, if one of the schemes is obviously based on the Venomverse, who are the other three likely characters going to be, and what could the other scheme be? So this video is going to be talking about the kinds of the other three potential characters we could be receiving. So the first and most likely playable character is Venom Deadpool. So obviously we know that Deadpool is super popular right now because of his movies. And of course Venom is really popular because he's Venom and his movie actually did ridiculously well at the box office. When you put these two popular anti-heroes together, you get Venom Deadpool. Venom Deadpool first appeared in What If Specials and was later released as a single trade. And given how important he was to the overall Venomverse storyline, playing both sides, it's inevitable that he will definitely be a uh, recruitable character, given how popular, you know, the selling point would be that you get Venom and Deadpool not only in the same set, but as the same character. So definitely it's highly likely that Venom Deadpool will be one of the recruitable characters. Now as for the other two, it's pretty much up in the air. There are so many characters that you can choose from when you think of Venom. The character's been around for 30 years and has so much stuff related to him. So first off, one of the more unlikely possibilities is uh, Mary Jane. Now Mary Jane in the Renew Your Vows uh, universe actually bonds with the Venom symbiote. She has some relevant part to play in the Venomverse event itself. But it would be nice to actually have a recruitable Mary Jane. As far as I'm aware, we don't actually have one. If I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments below. Next up is a newer character. Obviously, we have Spider-Gwen. So in her own book before it was relaunched into Ghost Spider, towards one of the last story arcs was uh, called Gwenum, where Spider-Gwen bonded with the Venom symbiote. Given that the character was, given that she bonded with the Venom symbiote after the Venomverse event, she didn't actually appear in Venomverse. But again, this is, the set is called Venom. It's not Venomverse. So considering how popular Gwen Stacy is right now, it's pr relatively likely that she could be included. But I definitely would like to see some older characters included. So the chance of her is very unlikely. It is, it's a little upsetting, of course, that the Venom expansion is a mini box expansion. They could have done, you know, a full massive expansion they could have done for this. And it would have been freaking insane because of how many Venom themed characters you actually have. 
Next up, who's kind of more unlikely, but I'd love to see, is a Mania. So Mania was a very short-lived character throughout Flash Thompson's run and showed up a little bit later in some other Venom stories. She's bonded to a piece of Flash's symbiote when it uh, jumps off him, and she basically becomes her own anti-hero, kind of being like his protege. Unfortunately, Mania did lose her symbiote to a villain who basically became Maniac and was the main villain of the Venom Inc. storyline. It would be cool to see Mania as she is relatively popular among specific fans and it'd be nice to see a nod to the Flash Thompson storyline. Speaking of which, let's go back to talking about the other masterminds. So if you have Thanos as your one mastermind and his villains are all like the, you know, the white possessed um, or the, the alien hybrid possessed um, symbiotes, uh, symbiote eating thingies, I forget what they're actually called, um, you potentially open up the door for your other expansions to be other well-known masterminds. Perhaps you could have the Crime Master and the Savage Six. Now, we know in the Paint the Town Red expansion, one of the villain's masterminds is Mysterio, who leads the Sinister Six, and the Savage Six is obviously a nice take on the Sinister Six. It would be a nice run to Flash Thompson's awesome run as Venom to have these characters here, and we have six villains for our villain deck, as well as the crime, you know, including the Crime Master, so this is actually quite likely, and we get to see Jack, we'll have Jack O'Lantern as well, and we get to have Toxin, the evil Toxin, which of course is Eddie Brock, and if they did this, they could, and as they already have a Flash Thompson Venom, why not give Flash his own enemies in this expansion? Continuing on with the Venomverse expansion, or well, sorry, with the, uh, with Flash, we also have the potential of Toxin. So Toxin can come in two forms, either Eddie or Patrick Mulligan. Now, depending on which version of Toxin, he's either a villain or an anti-hero. I think it would be really cool to see Toxin come in as the anti-hero Patrick Mulligan, but he's kind of not very well known outside of being like a really powerful symbiote. Patrick Mulligan himself isn't that well known, so he's kind of unlikely, which is a shame. More likely, however, is Anti-Venom. So Anti-Venom is obviously Eddie Brock when he is attacked by Patrick, uh, Mac Gargan's Venom after losing, this, having to give up his symbiote due to it giving him cancer and he gets healed by Mr. Negative. When Mac Gargan attacks him, the blood cells that are in him react, fend off Mac and give him this awesome new symbiote that's actually one of the most powerful symbiotes as it was actually able to stop other symbiotes and kill them. Eddie lost the abilities when he sacrificed it basically to stop the Symbiote Queen in Spider Island, to stop the, sorry, the Spider Queen in the Spider Island event, but Anti-Venom was later reborn in the form of Flash Thompson, and we all know how short-lived that was. But I think Anti-Venom would be really cool, particularly looking at what the custom cards that people have made for Anti-Venom over on Board Game Geek. A lot of his abilities, or one particular one I found, I can't remember the name of the guy who made it, but all his abilities were based on countering villain effects, and I think that's absolutely epic. If all your cards are based on like countering fight mechanics, countering feast, all that stuff, it works really well considering that um, Carnage of course does feast, and it'd be really cool to play around um, his particular mechanics. It would be a very unique character to see and if it was built like that, and I'd love to see Anti-Venom as a character. Next up, in terms of another character you might think, is Mac Gargan going to appear? Probably not. He might appear in some form, I think. He'd be really cool to see as a villain. Like, you know, your fifth character is a villain. You know, they're mixing heroes and villains now in sets. And, um, or else they were doing it in the Secret War stuff. So maybe you could see Mac. I mean, he's never been a mastermind. He was just a random henchman in the base set. So, potentially, but unlikely. Another character you have is Hybrid who of course showed up in Separation Anxiety, he's not actually on this cover. Um, but if you have Hybrid, you also open the possibility of your second mastermind being Carlton Drake, who you might remember from the Venom movie as the main antagonist. You could have him, and then you could have the Life Foundation symbiotes, including Scream, obviously Riot, who you would know from the movie, Lasher and all that, as your, man, as your villains. And that would be pretty cool as well. The likelihood of this is actually quite high, given that so much of the movie took inspiration from Lethal Protector, and everybody actually knows who Riot now is, except it's not the same Riot from the comics, because he's completely different in the comics, but still, you could actually have a high probability on this one. Another character who I'd love to see playable, but again, is very unlikely, is Scream. Scream is one of the Life Foundation symbiotes, and she's pretty powerful and a bit of a bitch. 
in some of her storylines, storylines that feature, she's pretty crazy and she'd be hilarious to have as a playable character. I'd love to see female, a female symbiote playable character as well, so you could probably have Scorn. But again, this is all unlikely, but you know, it could come out of nowhere. There are some really bizarre characters I've seen, like some of the Secret Wars characters, ridiculous, like Doctor Strange, The Punisher, or whatever it was. So, yeah, maybe. Speaking of Doctor Strange, another possible fifth character is potentially Doctor Strange possessed by the Venom symbiote. Considering how important he was to the Venomverse event, considering it takes place in his multiverse and he's the one that summons all the Venoms, the possibility of including him is quite high. So I wouldn't be surprised. But anyway guys, that is just some of my thoughts and picks about what you might see in this expansion. What do you guys think they might include? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. As well as that, do you think they'll have a new specific special icon for this set? Maybe the Venom sim symbol as the icon. Because we know that there are other Venoms that have existed, other symbiote characters, as recruitable characters. So we've had Symbiote Spider-Man, we've had Venom himself, and then we've had Agent Venom. Now, we know that Symbiote, Spider-Man, and Agent Venom have the Spider-Friend symbol, and Venom, which is Eddie Brock, has the Sinister Six symbol. So if they do add a new symbol to this set, will they potentially add another Symbiote, Spider-Man? Or, because last time I checked, like, Venom isn't, Eddie Brock isn't really a Spider-Friend. He's kind of like a frenemy of Spider-Man, kind of now, not really. But I definitely wouldn't see Carnage underneath the Spider-Friend symbol, so... What are they going to do for Carnage? He can't be a Sinister Six because he's never really been in the Sinister Six. And before you say anything, Venom was briefly in an incarnation of the Sinister Six. So that kind of makes sense why he's in the Sinister Six. So that is another possibility that we could have that's unique about this set. But then again, how would that combo off with the other symbiotes? Would they introduce the new Spider-Man? Would he have the two symbol? And would the Mary Jane actually have, you know, the running of the twos as her cost, because Spider-Gwen and Silk do, but they're not necessarily alternate versions of Spider-Man. Well, Gwen is, but not really Silk. But anyway, guys, that is just my thoughts. What are your thoughts on this expansion? Are you as excited as I am? Feel free to let me know in the comments below your thoughts on that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll definitely be doing an opening for it when I grab it. Thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you for my next video.